guys so we got another one from probably our most popular photographer here so let's take a look at his feed so orange tones on the right bluish green in the middle and then just like nice blue tones on the left so so straight away there's like this mac real nice contrast to the image a low amount of contrast yeah and just super smooth super super smooth to the contrast and the uh, exposure there and then the tones like we said orange green warm tones and then otherwise very blue tones so we are working with the shot right here trying to figure out maybe how he has possibly edited the image recreate something similar to show you guys the process of doing that so i'll be linking him down in the description guys the top link in the description come over here check him out let him know you found him through this tutorial i uh, really appreciate that and yeah everyone inside of the course has access to the raw image for this tutorial so you can follow along can really learn really helps learning that's why i supply the raw image for every lesson inside my course for many of these youtube tutorials because i think it's absolutely vital to learn and practice and try different styles and actually understand the why behind all of these adjustments so super personally love this style so let's get into Lightroom all right all right so we've got a screenshot over here so 35 mil 1.4 for that dreamy soft background don't need a high ISO because we're at 1.4 and then the shutter will just be exposing it reasonably quick just to get it sharp and it was shot on the Sigma 1.4 right and then just for cropping putting her more on the rule of thirds making sure we're not chopping out her feet enable profile corrections for this one we need to add way more like texture and so turn on the curves this is what's going on so we've got this one that's creating this nice flatness and then this one for fade to the blacks uh, no fade to the whites and then this one is gonna add a bit of blue to the highlights so if we reset it it's just going to cool off the highlights a bit more. What you'll see, what we'll do is add in. We want to bring out all the orange tones. So bang, bringing out the orange tones by upping the warmth. And then we're just going to balance them out by uh, putting more blues in the top half of the image. And yeah, that's all for curves. But you can see how that darkens the image quite a bit. So what we will do is up here, uh, bring up the exposure, drop the highlights, drop the shadows. A lot of this image is shadows. Whites. Maybe, maybe could have done something like only bring exposure up like that and then have these more like this. But um, yeah, however you want to go about it. blacks so i just want to see more in those blacks and stuff like that so two so it's like how much detail do i want to see up in the sky i'll go that uh for contrast like this yeah and clarity so for that texture and pop go about there maybe a touch of saturation so what we need to do for exposure as well we're just a bit of a vignette what we're going to do is make that effect quite far into the image and then we're going to feather it so it's nice and gradual isn't too obvious so that's what it's doing and then feather that out Then while we're here maybe just a tiny bit of grain it's a very smooth image so i always like to put some grain in but then it's very smooth so possibly even drop drop the sharpening keep it reasonably low because we get a, a little bit of a pop and crispness from the clarity there as well so now we're looking pretty warm so let's come to split toning work on our tones a bit blue in the shadows nice teal right and then for the highlights and then for the highlights we're gonna add in a nice yellowy 
green just because we're like maybe looking purple at the moment and that just adds this like really nice yellow that we want to bring out really like the tones oh, that looks so nice uh, we won't go too much of that because we will go with some HSL as well okay so we are looking too much of a purplish tone uh, the yellows I'm gonna take them over to an orange greens hardly any greens in this but I'm gonna warm them up so the teals only really her jacket it's probably it's got some purples in there too I'll leave how it is aquas there's no aquas uh, saturation greens uh, doesn't really matter but uh yellows bring down just a touch oranges we're gonna bring out a bit and then reds just looking at like her yeah there's a lot of reds in this as well but like i'd say skin tone is the main one to look at okay and then i want a slight pop and shine to those oranges you can see how that really creates a really nice effect there and maybe yellows just like i want to see a bit more of the sky thinking breaking down the yellows just to bring out more color in the sky uh, maybe it doesn't need to get done uh saturation of the blues and aquas out there jacket is maybe looking a little could try to push it to more of a teal um yeah a bit more of a teal possibly this way and then possibly a luminance uh just desaturate a bit more and just remember anyone inside the course has access to this raw image and like countless countless others because i think the, having the raw image is really really key to help learning what i have done also is a filter here so if i press o this is where it's affecting just bringing down the exposure a bit i think it helps frame the image a lot more by bringing down the exposure so like your eye sort of goes up and to the left sort of so like dead space down here kind of going this direction helping the light that's coming from the opposite direction a bit more contrast a bit more framing and then just a small brush over the subject a bit of sharpening just to sharpen the hair just a little bit so just a little bit of sharpening there maybe like i want more color to the sky so it either could come in with saturation or split toning you can see that just fills the sky with a lot more tone could do that maybe lift it to about 10 more yeah maybe a bit up a bit more and then if we thought we were looking too purplish could go a bit this direction or we could come in with a radial filter go like that either add in warmth saturation this gives a bit more to the sky and yeah i think we're good so if we go reset so before after so a nice smoothness to the image bringing down the highlights sort of just gives a bit more to the brights the flattening same with the whites uh, warmth to just bring out those already warm tones blues and the shadows to help balance and yeah the vign vignetting kind of clarity for a bit of texture and yeah i think we're pretty good luminance a little bit of a roll here uh yeah so if we go reset reset personally super super love this image and tone and editing that super smooth look to the image as you can see yeah it's reasonably subtle editing that goes a really long way like could play around a bit more like i think the bag here has more oranges and this has a lot more yellows in it this is our edit at the moment and then if we put his image right on top of our one bang and then go back to ours 
yeah pretty similar well i'm happy with it um yeah hope you guys learned something if you haven't already make sure you just watch my free training on color and the curves and that will get you a really long way to understanding how color works and how the curves work probably the two most important things and what i get questions about the most is color curves so there's a free training down in the description sign up and you will learn a lot in there if you haven't watched that already and then and yeah i'll be linking the course as well uh, super stoked with the amount of people joining the course lately and the amount of feedback we're getting um so if you're interested in the course if you want to go to the next level first of all free training and then also check out the course for those that want to go to the next level just keep commenting people you want to see on this channel amazing photographers maybe they don't have many followers but are really amazing edits comment them down in the description and i'll us and be a part of this youtube channel so do that for me guys and yeah i'll catch you guys later